gonna have to upload it to my YouTube. All right, so we're about to get this started. So again, I'm here today to show you guys all the lovely things I got when I was touring in Vegas. Um, if you were expecting to see my denim live yesterday on WhatNot app, I do apologize. Um, I went to Vegas, as you guys know, last week trying to fix this other camera. Uh, came back. Did I come back? Tuesday. Came back Tuesday. Um, came back. They lost our luggage. No shocker there. That's what they do. They lose luggage. So they had lost our luggage. We got our luggage back yesterday, but on my way out yesterday, my transmission went on my van. So it's been a little crazy. Um, but I am here now with all of my stuff. But I say that to say I didn't get to do my denim live event um, on the WhatNot app. And as you can see, I was very much prepared for it, but I wasn't home in time. So I did have to cancel that. I think what I'm going to do is go live on my Facebook tomorrow with the denim live. I have a lot. Um, I have from sizes 2 to 22, some with embroidery, some plain denim, um, just a little bit of everything. Like I said, sizes 2 to 22. So my intent is to do that tomorrow. If by any chance I don't get to do it tomorrow, I'll do it on Saturday. Um, once I do figure out the date and everything, I'll post it, you know, make up a little flyer so you guys know. I'm trying to decide where I want to get started at. It's so much stuff. This thing is falling down. Okay, so maybe I need my chair. Should I get a chair? This is a lot. And a lot of bending over. I'm gonna get my chair. It's right here. No fear. I'm gonna put it far. Okay. As you can see, I've turned my upstairs into my office. I'm in the process of changing that because it's just it's too much. It's too much. Not even my office, but like where I was doing my lives at. Um, mainly because after I did ThriftCon the beginning of September. I had all of this stuff upstairs because I just brought it in. I never took it back downstairs. So I don't know how many people follow me or just started following me. But I actually have a boutique in my basement. So that's generally where everything was set up at. But once I did ThriftCon, I um, never put it back down there because I knew that was September. October, I had my Thriftathon. So I left everything up here. But it's too much. I mean, I cannot... I can't think in clutter. And this is clutter. And it's driving me crazy. So I did go downstairs. Um, I started trying to straighten things up. And... Matter of fact, after I do this video, I'm going to transfer the stuff downstairs. I need my upstairs back. So, I did like it up here because the lighting up here is much better than downstairs. Um, and that says a lot because this isn't the best lighting. But downstairs is, like, way worse. Um, so, I'm just going to give me additional lamps down there. But I'm going to rearrange everything. I had seen somebody's um, eBay post and they had set up their garage it was phenomenal like on one side they just had bins with like letters or you know names of what was in the clear bins um they had their desk they had their photo um, station and I realized like wow I could do all of that downstairs because if you go down my steps to the right was you know one boutique to the left was another boutique and then behind the steps is a whole nother room which is the whole length of the whole basement where I do like my silk screen, not my silk screen, I don't need silk screen, my screen printing, my sewing, make jewelry, stuff like that. So I have more than enough space to do that and still have my boutique. So after I do this, I'm actually going to set that up because I cannot. Like if I showed you guys, this looks fine. You guys just see this little square space. But if I showed you all of this, ah! okay, so anywho, I'm trying to get the seat situated. So I can show you guys. Some of the things that I got. Now, the stuff in here, I believe you guys saw, but I'm not really sure. Like I said, who saw the um, video, who actually saw the IGT video, who saw my whatnot um, live sale that I did on, what's that, Saturday night going into Sunday because it was like midnight. Um, I don't know who saw that because I did show some of the stuff, so I'm just going to show it again. Um, if you did see it and you don't want to watch it, close your eyes. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I'm going to show you guys that. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of everything. Well, I'm showing you everything, really. Okay. So, this is one of the blazers that I got when I was down there with the rhinestone detail. As you can see, the, um, what is this? Like, a, I can't sit. I was trying to sit, but I can't. I'll sit to pull out the stuff, maybe. It has the fur detail on here. Rhinestone detail on the button. And then it has the fur detail at the bottom of the sleeves. This one is an 18W. And this is a European European brand. So I did do the comps on this. Very nice, very nice. I guess I'll be using a chair for that. Now this lovely number right here was a suit that I came across. Um, Well, actually my cousin came across it. It was really, really, really nice. It says a 1516. 
I don't even think this is a 15, 16 and vintage. Um, whoever said that just basically did it wrong. Look at the sleeves on this. Do y'all see the shoulders on that? Like that is just phenomenal. It is just beautiful. So that's that. And then it has the detail down here. It looks, um, it's like a deep purplish blue, if that makes any sense. It's a pretty color, but so this is the skirt that goes along with it. I didn't do the comps on it, nor did I try it on, but if I can fit it, I'm going to keep it up for myself. Where am I going? I don't know. I don't really do suit things anymore, but it would be good to have. Um, that I had with me there. Oh, this baby I got when I was down there. Yes, this was my first sourcing day down there. I went to Savers. Um, I only went to Savers and Goodwill. Again, not necessarily a fan of Goodwill. You guys know this. I say this all the time. Sorry if you see this Goodwill. I don't like you. Um, you charge too much money for stuff you get for free to be a nonprofit. That's the bottom line. Um, a lot of times, I mean, I've been to a couple Goodwills and they've had a nice selection. Not too many. Honestly, I think my best selection at Goodwill I've ever had was in Georgia. Yeah, that was it in Georgia. Um, haven't been to too many in Pennsylvania that I particularly love. But anyway, so I got this from Savers. My first day I went to Savers. That one was, mm. So they had told me that they had 50% off on Monday. So I looked up all the different Savers. And my intent was to hit up like three different ones. I didn't go back to the first one because I didn't particularly love it. And I felt like I had seen what they had more or less. And their prices were high too. Don't get me started. But they're not for profit. So not that it makes it better because their stuff was a little pricey. But they're not for profit. So it does kind of, mm, it tweaks it a little bit. So... I went to that one, then I said I was going, I had a whole line of other ones I was going to go to Monday for the 50% off. I went to one, and I think I did relatively relatively well at that one, so I didn't go to any other ones, but I did go um, to a warehouse for my um, privilege to be black, to get my sweatsuits and stuff like that, but that's different. So yeah, so this is what I got the first day. I absolutely, absolutely love this jacket. Um, it is missing... A couple buttons well it's only two buttons one is hanging one is missing i'm just going to take it off i'm not even going to bother to put buttons back on here i'm keeping this for myself i'm not going to bother to put buttons on here because i know i'm not going to close it so it's kind of redundant unless one day i decide i just want to sew someone just for you know maybe i don't know something different but i love this leather patchwork jacket like this to me was my best find the whole time i was there like this was my first day i went back the second day and got a whole bunch of stuff but this right here is just everything. Like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this thing at all. I don't know who had it, but they kept it in pristine condition. It's not dry rotted. The stitching isn't messed up. There's no stains. I mean, the buttons are hanging off. What do you do? <laughs> That's nothing. So, yeah. So, this is the leather patchwork jacket that I got when I was there. Um, ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. This is, oh, the vintage Eddie Bauer denim jacket that i got y'all no that's no i love denim i buy a denim shirt or a denim jacket every time i see one every time what else what else i'm trying to see what else i got when i was there this i gotta have absolutely no idea like really what it's for i don't know because it's super long like as you can see this thing is taller than me but i liked it it's a skirt i liked it because it has the split in here so i don't know if it's like supposed to go up here or something over it I have no idea, but I have a thing for length and flowiness, as you guys know. So, it's going to get used for something, best belief. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Now, this bag right here is mainly the stuff that I have worked down. And I was able to fit a few things in here that I got. Um, so, this is a belt that I got when I was there. I'm going to make sure I stay centered. I forgot I had three going on. So, this is a belt that I got when I was there. It has like the gold, um, it's black. I guess this, I'm not going to say this is leather in the middle. Yeah, I don't think this is leather. It's like a faux leather with a uh, black faux leather with gold studs. Then it has the elastic around here. I just thought it was really cute. Look rather Parisian to me. Uh, let's see here. Let's put this around because that stuff I already had with me. Yeah, so they had ended up sending our luggage to the wrong spot. Well, St. Louis, altogether wrong. Um, and to make matters worse, when they did it, somehow know that they decided to go through my luggage. Um, I noticed for a fact because they broke the zipper inside of my luggage. So, thank you, American Airlines, and your lovely crew people for minding other people's business. 
But anywho, so this I also got when I was down there. This is a um, silk crop blazer, which I thought was really cute. I love these colors. It is very autumn, fall. You know, it has like the burgundies, the reds, purples, greens, and gold in there. It has the shoulder pads. Again, it's a 100% silk. They cut out the label, so I have an idea who it's by. I didn't Google it or anything because I could do the Google lens look for the print and see. But I like it because it has like the little shirt. See the little faces on here? It's so cute. Little angels. Um, what else did I get when I was down there? That might be it from here. That I got when I was down there. I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. Yep, sorry. We're going to take this one out the way now. Moving right along. Now I got this lovely bag when I was there. I got this for myself. I, just, I like um, like army fatigue camo. And this is a really cute bag. Let me see how you loosen it. I got this one so like when I do go out sourcing, I like stuff like this to have with me. Just to throw my stuff in, hands free, it's nice and big. When it gets filled, you know, I could take the stuff out, leave it in the car, start all over. Or just leave this in the car. You know, it, it's up to me. But I thought this was cute. So I got that for me. Now these right here, if you know me, you know I love anything sparkly. And these are sparkly. These are a pair of, can you see, can you see, can you see? Um, silver glitter sneakers, like the ones you always see pop up on Instagram. I never thought they were glittery. And I can tell these are definitely it because there's no name brand, which is fine with me because... I'm not like a label or anything. And they sparkle, so they sparkle, they fit, and they were cheap. 50% off. Now, these shoes right here, I thought were entirely too cute. They are so different. Um, I love the fact that it has the ribbon tie. I love the, like, the tweed contrast. Oops, something fell. I love how it has, I don't know if this is leather. I didn't even check. I just thought they were really cute. Um, let me see if it says if they're leather or not. That would be nice to know. I can't see. At least not in that time frame. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Yep, it's leather. So the outside is leather. It has a tree contrast. And then it has like this burgundy purplish felt. It is just entirely too cute. And then with the ribbon, it's just adorable. Adorable. So I got these for myself. These were also 50% off. See, so trying to show in each camera. Probably need to pull all of these back. Let me see. So like I said, I have a whole bunch of them going right now. Let's see if I pull them all back, then you can maybe see them all at the same time. Because it's hard trying to show them all. Now that one's entirely too over. Okay, so yeah, these were entirely cute, cute, cute. Had to get these. Had to get these. Um, let's see what else do we have here to show today. Um, oh, I did get some sequin. As you guys know, I have my prom gift back, which is March the 26th. I'm giving 300 girls the opportunity to go on prom by donating prom dresses. So if you have any that you want to donate, um, go to S-T-A-R-K-S period E-N-T. Um, nope, sorry. Give me the wrong one. www.star.k.s. Why do I know my own last name? <laughs> www.starks-ent-inc.com and you can fill out the um, donation form. So this is a long, like, rose gold. I know the color and shows weird on each of these screens. Um, sequence dress, which I thought was absolutely adorable and hopefully some lovely young lady will think so too. And she can wear this to her prom. Now I am also getting sequin items to... Um, have a big sequin sale. So outside of the prom give back, I'm buying different sequin things that I'm coming across, whether it's vintage, modern, or whatever, because I just want to do like a big holiday sequin sale. So anything I find a sequin, I think is cute. I'm purchasing it. This one is a size 26, 28. I thought this was really nice. I like the sheer top. Um, the color is not really red. It's a wine. Um, you could either be a 26, 28 and wear this, or you could be someone smaller and wear it as a dress, like almost like an off the shoulder kind of cute boxy thing. So I thought this was nice, but this is actually, I believe a top. 
um, in a 26, 28, but I figure, you know, if you're a little bit smaller, you can wear it as a dress. So, yes, yeah. so this is going to be for the sequin holiday sale. Uh, let's flip this one. On this side, my good people. Oh, I remember now. It's like the stuff is coming back to me as I'm going through it. And that was one of the things when the luggage got stolen because when I realized they had went through the bags, um, since they broke it, I knew they had been in there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, at this point in time, I really don't even know what they stole because I just purchased the stuff like maybe a day or two before. I didn't really get to love it and enjoy it to know what I had. So I realized as I'm going through here, if anything is missing. So when I was there, I saw this skirt first and I really didn't have any need for the skirt. I thought it was a nice print. Um, super long. I was like, okay, I'm confused. What do you do with this thing? Is everybody down here super tall? Because, you know, first I had the, uh, the black one that I had no idea what to do with. And then this one. So I thought it was nice. I put it back. Okay. And then as I keep looking, I come across this. I don't know why they do this. Well, they didn't do it. Somebody else separated it. But then I came across this blazer. Same print. And I was like, oh yeah, these must go together. They have to go together. So... Then I came across the blazer, same print. What I liked about this blazer was the back of it. Like that is so hot. So I don't even have any intent of putting the skirt with it. Um, I would cut the skirt, honestly, and make it like a mini. Give it like a whole dynasty look or something. But I probably won't do anything with it, but they came together. So that's one reason why I didn't leave it there. But I love this jacket for the back of it. Also love the buttons that's on here. They're like gold buttons with like this little, I don't know, it looks like a seashell in the middle. This is, uh, I don't even know this name. Okay, Kilimanjaro. Isn't that like a mountain or something? I never heard of it, but this has a size 13, 14. But I thought this was nice. Love that blazer. You guys know I'm a blazer person. Um, any suggestions on what I can do with the skirt? But picture the blazer with like a really short skirt. That's just straight giving me like dynasty or something. Maybe not Dynasty. I don't know. But, okay. Then this lovely skirt right here, which is, a, um, I think it's an Alex Evenings. It is. Now, my cousin that picked it up first, she was like, what would you wear with this? I said, I would wear a t-shirt and a jean jacket and go to the store. I'll put on a jean jacket and a t-shirt with anything. But, yeah. So, this is nice. I'll probably do this one with the holiday. I mean, it's kind of lightweight, but most um evening stuff isn't really heavy unless it has like a serious lining so i'll probably do that with the holiday so if i don't keep it for myself i didn't try it on now this one right here is a white house black market i absolutely love this skirt i don't know if you can see the beads that's going down the front then it has a little split here nothing too much just something to get you a little bit of sexy just something to give a little bit of sexy going on came across this lovely oops two of them this lovely um, pleated vintage skirt. I thought that was nice. The pleats are still in here. Because, you know, sometimes pleats will tend to more or less disappear, so to speak. If they're not kept well and maintained. I thought this was really nice. I love the colors on this, which adds to the movement. And then I came across this other pleated skirt. It was a lot of pleated skirts, like... I'm excited about that. Now, this one right here has um, a lining underneath. This is a Zara. Oh, it also has threads hanging. I need to cut that off. See that? It has threads hanging. I'm going to cut it. So, this is a Zara um, skirt pleated. has a lining underneath. It looks almost sheer, but it's not due to the lining. It's pretty nice. I thought it was nice. Movement again. This one right here almost lost. Well, not lost, but left. I had went over to the blazers. I saw this one and it was like, yeah, and I kept going. Somehow I know that I ended up back over to the blazers. I remember um, what I tend to do is I'll shop. I put everything in my cart. So if you ever seen a video of me shopping or uh, pictures of me shopping, like I have a cart like taller than me, but full of stuff. So then I go back over, I find an empty spot, you know, push the cart, the clothes away and I line up everything to decide what I want, what I don't want, things like that. So I ended up back to where the blazers were. And I don't know how I walked away from this thing. This is um, Saks Fifth Avenue. The works is silk. This thing is so nice. Like, I don't know how I didn't pick this. I like it because it looks like it's tribal. It has like almost a tribal print to it. So I thought this was really nice. Glad I was able to go back and get that. This I adore too. 
Um, one, the movement, the colors. The colors add to the movement, if you ask me. Um, that's the inside with the lining. It's just very flirty, pretty, casual, beautiful. A little bit of everything. This one is a size extra large. I believe this is silk. Um, I do not know. I don't see any other... Um, Trying to see if it's in the sleeve. Anything in here about who the designer is, the sizing, care instructions, anything. Absolutely nothing. They gave me nothing, people. Um, I honestly can't tell if it's silk or polyester. Oh, I see on here it says it's Calvin Klein. But that doesn't tell me anything about cleaning it. Hmm, that's weird that Calvin Klein didn't put anything on here. But anywho, this is nice. It has a kimono effect to it with the colors and the, the cut of it, so... But this is really, really, really nice. Yeah. So that was one. Um, these pants I saw right when I was getting in line. I thought these were really, really nice. I like them because of the colors in their leggings and their wide leg. I mean, they may not necessarily so-called be in season right now, but they are for me. Because I will be wearing these with maybe a white crop top. Um, probably my Hustlepreneur white crop top and a jean shirt or maybe just a big jean shirt i don't know but but they were cute and they're colorful another lovely pleated skirt this one is by lane bryant it is a size 14. oh it still has a tag on the inside though well, it looks like they tore it off but yeah so this is brand new lane bryant size 14. I like this because it's like a black and a white, like in between the black or the white pleats. That's really nice. And again, it's a size 14, Lane Bryant. And then there was this one. This is another White House Black Market. This is a size 12. It's the same design on both sides. Now, it's weird because I'm looking at this and it looks like this is black with little white boxes, but it doesn't look like that on the camera which is weird but i like it it looks almost like pixelated but that's good um i like how they have it it gets smaller and then it gets bigger so it's a good um tummy control in a sense because it camouflages and it messes how can i don't want to say it messes with your eyes but it does um it distorts it so to speak so if you have like a belly area you won't be able to tell because it distorts it all right, this one right here, I believe this is another White House Black Market. Um, yep, White House Black Market. This one is also a size 12. I thought this was really nice, especially for work, for those people who are working or who just like to get dressed up, maybe wear it to church. It's the same design on this side. So, but at the bottom, it has like this really neat coloring. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's so much more. I still have a whole nother bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, this one is a Talbot size 10 blazer. It is blue with like a white underneath. It's almost like a lace design. But it has the white underneath that peeps through. So that's what really creates design. Because if it was just blue or black underneath, you wouldn't be able, it wouldn't be a design. So this is really, really nice. Again, this is a Talbot's. It's a navy blue with white underneath. Um, what is this? Oh, I thought this was really cute. This is the first thing I saw when I came in. Just a cute, playful top. Um, it says, what does it say on here? Not stupid. And the other one says miss. I thought this was a cute, playful top. Um, I don't know the size. Hmm. It says zero XL. Is that one size fits all extra large or is it extra large? I don't know. But that's the back of it. Also like the sleeves of it too. You know, that's cute, oversized, relaxing. Now this one I also got for the prom gift bag. See, I forgot about this one. As I'm pulling it out, I'm remembering these things or being reminded, I guess I should say. I thought this was different. Um, it's like an olive green with the gold uh, stretch sequin detail. It has the open bag. What I particularly love about it is the bottom. This right here gets moving. And this may be a little bit too much for prom. I don't know. 
I mean, everybody's a little different. I can't, you know, okay. I've seen some things, but I thought this was nice. Again, I love the bottom detail with the ruffles. Um, it does have the split in the front. Well, more or less on the side, not really the front. But yeah, I thought that was pretty. So we're going to put that at prime. If it's a little too much, then we'll pull it and put it with something else. Now, this one right here, this one I got from Goodwill. I got two things from Goodwill when I was down here. Um, I think I'd already show, I took a picture of this jacket and posted that, but I'm going to show that as well. You have that now. Hmm. Um, yeah, so this one right here is a Bankers Club uh, wool skirt. I thought this was nice. It has pockets too. You know, we love something with pockets. Nice plaid, nice plaid. So if you guys are just coming in, I'm just showing some of the stuff that I got when I did my vegan sourcing over the weekend. Um, I started off apologizing for not doing my what not did them um, live shopping last night, but my transmission went out on me yesterday, so I wasn't home in time. As I stated earlier, and you guys probably didn't see it, I was ready, everything set up. But so what I'm going to do is, if I don't do it tomorrow, I'm going to do it Saturday. I'm gonna make up the flyer today, decide if I'm gonna do it on Friday or Saturday. Um, it's gonna be. Then um, skirts, jackets, vests, jeans. Um, I don't know if I have any denim dresses. I'll see. But it's going to be from sizes 2 to 22. So, okay. This is a... Who is this one by? This may not be by anybody in particular. Because I don't see anything in here. Okay. So, this is a lovely striped blazer. I thought this one was really nice as well. It's like a beige with red and like gold through it and then with the gold zipper detail it really pops uh, what size is it see they, they always take this stuff out so they just make it difficult like why do they do that this says a large i didn't try it on and it's like a little bit of ruffle back here well pleating i want to say ruffle um this is a tool skirt this one is a hot monday I just thought this was nice. A lot of people say they're out of season, but believe me. Some boots. Um, a kind of big cropped off the shoulder sweater. And some opaque tights. This is now in the season. You can put on like some um shorts underneath. Not denim shorts, but just, you know, the biker shorts underneath or something. So, nothing is out of season unless you make it out of season. This one is a size large. So that was nice. That ain't even go with this. Look at this. Look, 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 look. See that? Those two go together. Go together. I had another blazer that I got that was cream. Um, as I was putting the stuff in the car, it fell on the floor and got dirty because they don't give you bags there. And I had came with one big IKEA bag, but I did more selling than I realized I was going to do. So I have that set to the side to take that to the cleaners. But this is another cream one. I more or less really got the cream ones for me. Um, I know a lot of people don't buy too many things as cream or white after Labor Day. But, I mean, if by any chance somebody wants to buy one, I will sell it. But this is, I'm trying to see the size on here. It says a small, doesn't look really small to me. Again, didn't try any of this on yet. But this is a lace cream blazer. And this one is a true lace design. Alright, this one is a red a Casper size, I think it's a eight. It's an eight. Sometimes the six looks like eight, and that's what my glasses on. Not good, right? All right let me button this up because without the buttons, you can't get the full effect. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. So this is a red Casper size eight. Can I see the way that is? How it goes like this. That's what I loved about it. So I'm thinking I may keep this one for myself. Not really sure. Decisions, decisions. But I thought that was nice. Now this dress right here. It's another one I adore. Very long. It looks kind of homely. Um, but it all depends on how you dress it up. I just thought it was really, really nice. Very comfortable. You can take this dress to work. You can take it to church. It's just a casual dress. It has the ties on the side. Y'all see the ties that's on the side of here? It has it on both sides. 
and it has like the pleating on the side the uh sleeves are sheer it has shoulder pads i like the square neck this one is a size of sarah elizabeth is a size eight looks bigger than an eight to me but and it has a zipper in the back but it definitely looks bigger than an eight to me but i like it looks comfortable all right so that's it for that one let's push this to the side Get me some gummy bears. You know, breakfast of champions, right? All right, let's see if I can knock this one out quick because we don't want to make this entirely too long. We're already 30 minutes into it. Whew. Okay. Now, this is the other one I had got from the Goodwill that I took the picture of. This is the Circus Ringmaster, Doncaster Circus, Vintage Circus Ringmaster Blazer. And it has beading detail and ribbons and everything on it. So that was nice. And oh, let me leave this open so I can throw this stuff. Away. And it's vintage. You never go wrong with vintage. I got this too. Like play it as a thing this year as if it was never out before. But you know, I'm going to rock and roll with the people for what they're going for right now. I'm going to rock and roll with the people and I'm going to get the people what they want. So I have this chaps sweater vest i'm trying to see the size here size medium sorry chap sweater vest size medium red white and black plaid here is a orange blazer this one is a collections size 16 this is very good for right now with the season change and everything can't go wrong with that. This is the yellow one. I love this. Like, I just see this with a pair of jeans and a white shirt. I told you my go-to is always, like, denim and a white shirt. Whether it's jeans, a jean shirt, white shirt, pair of pants. This yellow is so bright. Like, it's such a vibrant, vibrant yellow. Beautiful. This is wool, and it's a size 14. Whoever gets this, your lucky camper. Okay, I'm pulling stuff around at all sides here, people. That's how we're doing it today. All right, this one right here. Is this a Cynthia Riley? I can't remember who this is. Oh, it's an XOXO. It's a size large. It's a sweater dress. Absolutely beautiful. Check out the bottom of it. Like, it's like a mermaid style. It's fitted. It comes out at the hips, goes back in. It comes out at the bottom. And what really makes this dress is not just the knitting detail but the colorway like the colorway adds to how it fits on the body the way the color changes it's just absolutely beautiful and again i have not tried on any of this stuff generally when i go sourcing i do try on stuff but i was out of town my mindset was to hit like three other stores so i knew i wasn't going to have time to really try this stuff on so i didn't get to try any of this stuff on not one thing so i don't know um, this one right here, I did get for myself. I have a thing about the sweater cardigans. Absolutely love sweater cardigans. This one is a large. And it has like the rhinestone detail buttons. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. but Also got this one for myself because it's nice and colorful. I want to see the size on this one. This one is an August silk. So that's a size. Well, yeah, it does look like a large. This one may be too big for me. I don't know. But I like the colors on it. Trying to button it here. So you guys can get the full effect of it. So again, this one is an August silk size large. Very colorful. I think this was the last thing in here that was for me. A moon collection. This one is a medium. Has the bling bling, the stones all in the front. I like it because it's kind of oversized. It's high low, a little bit higher in the front, lower in the back. Black sweater with rhinestones. Okay, so that was it for the me collection. This is a Belladini says size medium. I'm trying to see if that's the true size because thrift stores don't put anything on the sizes. It still has the original tag on it. And this is cream with like little gold, I don't know, accents on it. I don't know if you guys can really see that. 
Um, but it's really cute. It has cream and gold detailing all up around the shoulders and the top part. Well, it's a little bit down the sleeve, too. Not much. A little past the shoulder. Not much. This is nice. Um, this is more so a cardigan. And that's what I was trying to find a lot of the open neck cardigans to make um, some of my shag jackets. But this one is a, it says angel size. It's made in Turkey. I don't know. Oh, it's extra large. Okay. I like this because of the contrast. The black, <coughs> excuse me, I see my water. The black with the cream contrast and the way it falls. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but see how that falls? Like, this is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Grab my water, because I'm getting parched out of this talking. Oh, I did lie. This is another one that's supposed to be for me. But, I mean, I say that, and then sometimes I try to stuff for one or I just decide I have enough, enough stuff, which I truly do. Um, this is a double XL, so for that reason alone, it may not end up being for me. Um, but I had a whole vision of this. I will tell you it included denim. <laughs> Everything in my life includes denim. But this is really nice. It has, it's a sweater with like a fringe de detail. Can you guys see the fringe detail on this? And then at the top, it also has like a somewhat of an open, open knit with buttons. And it's just really, really nice. Let's see, Let's see here. You guys can get the full effect of this. I know it doesn't go with my outfit. Well, my outfit doesn't even go with my outfit today. But I'm home, so I figured I was going to be cleaning and get my life together. I wasn't trying to be super cute. But I thought this was really, really nice. Just comfortable. Comfortable. I don't know. It says a double XL, but I think I may keep this one. I got to see. I got to try my outfit first. The head pockets, that would have been perfect. Okay, so again, that one was a double XL. Uh, this is a blue leather... I won't say really a coat, a blazer that I got. Monterey Bay Clothing Company. It's a 20W. Oh, let's just fold it up and make it fold this one. It's a pretty blue leather. Like I said, I won't call it a coat, more so a blazer. Look at that blue. Is that not pretty? Then the lining and the inside. This thing is nice. I done good, people. I done good. It's like a bluish, it's not really a blue blue, it's like a bluish turquoise. If you can see the lining in the inside, it's like that, I don't know, the lining in the colors even come to bright. It's like that bluish turquoise color that's in the lining. So that's one. And then I got this black leather skirt, which is a size. Um, this is a Vanna White, oh wow, Vanna White collection size 16. I didn't know Vanna White had her own collection. You go, girl. So it's a size 16, black leather skirt, zipper in the back, gold button, little kick, uh, not kick, please, what do they call it? A little split in the back. Just a very small split, nothing too much. That was a size 16. Uh-oh, we're getting to the bottom here, people. This is a red suede skirt. This one is a size 14. Evan Davy suede red. Nice, 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 nice and long. Okay. This one right here is a red cami. Looking for the size, size 12 uh, leather jacket. I like the scallop detail on the sleeves right here at the bottom and then the buttons as well and it also has the same mimic detail now this is folded over from being in the bag i'm gonna have to press this down but it has the same mimic detail of the scallop around here the front the buttons the pocket just very decorative and again this one is a size and i got 12. it's a red leather size 12. Um, is that it for our leathers? I think so. This is a, oh, this is a Joe's denim jacket. Almost has like a, I won't really say a motorcycle. Well, it's almost like a motorcycle style. I like it because it's the dark denim. Can you guys see that okay? 
And I like it too because the way the back is made. A lot of times the denim has a stitching that comes down the middle and I can't put anything on the back. And I'm going to start um, doing a sublimation on my jean jacket. So any jean or leather jackets I come across that don't have the covered back or any type of stitching detail on the back, easier for me to work with. Then I came across this lovely universal thread plaid puff jacket, which I thought was cute. It's about to get cold. Oh, and that's another thing. I have a whole rack full of outerwear because that's a totally different um, live I'm going to do. Just outerwear, coats, jean jackets, um, trenches, things like that. I have so many different racks and stuff for my lives. I just got to sit down and do the lives, right? So, anywho, this one, again, is a size. This says an extra small. I did try this one when I was there. Because this is puffy. I was like, if I'm going to take this thing home, I need to make sure it can fit at least me. You know, because it takes up a lot of space in the bag. But I thought, but it folds down really flat. Um, but it says an extra small. I can fit it, so I don't think it's a true extra small. Probably a small, but definitely not a, extra, a normal extra small. But I like it. It's playing. It's wearing the Freddy Krueger-esque. But nonetheless, it's cute. This right here, so nice. This is a Adam Lip. Uh, it's for Target. Adam Lips, L-I-P-P-E-S, probably mispronouncing it. It's a large. This cardigan is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love the color block, the gray, the black, the cream. It's long. It has a belt. It just screams, hug me, keep me warm. You are now my new best friend. So, and I love the pockets. They're like a fleece, so it just adds to the comfort of it all. Like, you can wear this out. You can even do like a, um, I don't want to say jeans, I say jeans with everything. But honestly, you could do like jean shirt or something. You could do a sweater underneath, a turtleneck. It just, it's nice, but it's warm. It's comfortable. It just seems rather soothing. All right, so I did find a knit or open knit sweater for me to use. This is a large. Um, I like the fact that it is like a white cream color because I can do a lot of different things on this versus... I can't really do a pink yarn on a purple jacket. I can do it on a white because it'll be like an outline, especially if I leave the sleeves exposed around the neck. So I did find this one. This is a large. I probably end up doing this in a white and a cream though because so many people have requested the white and the cream. The first one I did, the really, really long one. That's a short one. I do have a short one too. But a lot of people have requested that um, cream. So I'll probably do that. This right here is a, what is it? What is it? A Grace Elements. This is a size extra large. Let me button this so you guys can see. Well, I'll just do one button to hold it just right for you to see. Get it? I like the buttons on here. The button detail is what really sold me on this. Um, in addition to that, the back of it. Can you guys see back here? Can you see that right here? That's like the little, the buttons with the little thing in the back. The buttons are really unique. They're cover buttons that also have like a design on them. Um, it came with the pink ribbon too. I don't know if that's how it was purchased or if that's just what they put on there. So I just left it on there, you know. October is breast cancer month, so it kind of goes together. But yeah, this is nice. It's a nice weight to it too. All right, another cardigan. Oh no, this is I think a pullover. Yep, this one is a pullover, which I thought was nice. It's the cow neck size. It says petite large, Christopher Banks. Again, I don't know, didn't try this one on, but I thought this was nice, comfortable. Again, we're going into that season, people, whether you want to admit it or not, it's coming for us. This one is an open knit. I want to do like a, a olive, just all olive. I might do an olive and cream, but I'm thinking just a straight olive. This is going to be nice. Just shag this thing out with like an olive color yarn that you can wear like with your camos. You can wear with all black. That's why I don't want to do a cream and an olive. This has a cream and an olive in here. I just want to do the straight olive. Because I feel like if I do too many colors, it'll limit how many things you can wear with. But if it's just one color, you can mix it with more. I'm doing a as it is, the ribbing. But this is going to be nice. Shag that out. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. This one too. So this will be a long cream shagged out one. This is a medium. Oh God, I have so many orders for these creams. I don't even know if there's enough cream yarn in the world for as many cream orders that I have right now. But yeah, so this is going to be for long. I was able to find a couple. 
Um, this one right here requires a little bit of work. It is coming apart, but I'm a seamstress, so that's fine. Um, this is, it has a hood. I was going to shag this one out, but now I'm like, I don't know. I might leave it like it is. It's so long. I mean, I still could. It's just a hood. I was going to shag out the hood, but I'm like, is that going to look like a teddy bear? Like, who wants a shagged out hood? It might be hot. I don't know. So, it's coming apart right here, but that's easy. I can just fold it over. Sit you right down. Zip, 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 zip. Put it on my serger. Stitch it on down, and then go ahead and shake it out. If I decide to, if not, I might leave it like it is. So, yeah. So, I thought this was nice. I love long sweaters. Especially long shagged out sweaters. Super warm jackets is what I call them. They're warmer than most of these coats out here today. Um, this one just gave me festive vibes. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to use this one for the um, holiday sale. It is a Jack Be Quick size large. I'm going to show you the details on it now. It has like all of the. <laughs> that's what my uh, nephew called it. He said, well, that's a nice Christmas sweater. It has the reds, the golds, the greens. It has more than just Christmas colors. And it has purples and blues. It's beading. It's rhinestones. But it just screamed holiday to me. So I don't know if I'm going to save this for my sequin holiday sale. I mean, unless someone asks for it beforehand, because it will be on the site soon. But other than that, I think I'm going to save it for the holiday sale. Yep, so that's that one. Another denim jacket, because like I said, I would buy anything denim. This is a crop denim jacket, and it has like the faux fur. So I thought that was really neat. You can flip it over, wear it down, has it around the collar. Um, I tried this one on. This does fit. It says a 1X. I don't know in whose world. That's a lie. Um, this to me is really like a small. I don't know what 1X. Is it a children's 1X? Because it's not an adult 1X. Um, yeah, so th that maybe it's supposed to be not even a junior's 1X this would be. I don't know. But I thought this was cute. So, I may or may not put anything on it. Not sure. This one right here is... I think this is the Zara Denim Trench. Yep, Zara Denim Trench. It says Fall, Winter, Zara uh, Basics. doesn't have the year on here. It says it's a European Large, USA Large. Let me see if it has the year. It doesn't. But it has a trench. It's a denim trench. It has the belt. Zara. I know a lot of people absolutely love Zara. So here you go. Got you a denim trench. Belt is attached. It's in very good condition. Nothing wrong with it. Is that it for in here? Right, let's pull out here. I love this tweed sweater skirt. It has a little teeny stain on, stain on it. I'm praying I can get it off because I love this. Love, love, love. Matter of fact, I need to put stuff on it right now to let it sit. This is phenomenal. Uh, wild couture size medium size medium that's the sign i need to go to sleep size large i don't even know where i was trying to combine medium and large but this houndstooth black and white sweater skirt yes 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 and yes again this is a size large has a little teeny stain in the front as soon as we get done i'm going to spray this down and let it sit and prayerfully that'll come out all right, I got this lovely little silver bag. Y'all know I have a thing for bags. And then it shimmers and it sparkles. It has a little teeny detail on here. Inside is nice and clean. Um, where's this box? I don't know, it just says one size. I don't know. Pink inside, nice and clean. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Now this is not a thrifted item, but I'm gonna share it with you guys. Nine times out of ten, this is going to end up on the shop star sheet page. It is black bra top with the bra, or bra top with the gold spikes. If it makes it to a website, oh, they give me extra. If it makes it to a website, it'll probably end up on my shop star sheet. Because, not saying people are my stylist don't want to pay any money, but it's not a thrifted item, so it's not going to be like close to thrifted prices. And I will have these available in other designs as well. But I thought that was really nice. I with the bag. I'm just going to put this here. I'm going to grab the extra ones they gave me. Oh, 
remove those. Uh, what else do we have in here? Oh, this lovely gray knitted necklace that I got from the thrift store. I thought it was so unique. It's like, it look, I don't know. I think it's like t-shirt actually because it's very stretchy. It just might be like a stretch fabric. But I thought that was really neat. It's like a gray choker made out of a stretch fabric. If anybody knows how to make these, please make me one. Like if I sent you pieces of stretch denim, could you make me some? I love this. And y'all know I love denim. I'm going to put some here. Um, oh, this lovely belt. Y'all know I love a good vintage belt. Look at this thing. Y'all see that? Look at this thing. Like I said, Savers was good to me. Much Not that the first one was horrible, because that's where I got my um, patchwork leather blazer from, or coat, but this one was definitely really good. This is a Blue Ribbon Belt size, extra large. I was trying to see if it said it was leather. It doesn't say, so it may not be. But I liked it because it has the gold, the silver, the bronze, so you can wear it with anything, versus just gold, silver, or bronze. It has all three in little blocks. I don't know if you guys can see that. Does it show up at all? Yeah. And there's three different cameras going here, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, this is, I have one of these in gold already, and now I have one in silver. Oh, this one's coming apart just a little. I'm going to have to sew that down, but it's a stretch. Can you see it? It's stretch and it has the, like, I want to call them scales. They look like fish scales. It's silver fish scales. Um, is that it? Is that it? Is that it? I believe that to be it, people. I think we have seen everything that I got when I was there. Got this for my nephew. Thanks, nephew, because I bought so much stuff. Couldn't get it all back. Um, but I believe that's it. That is it. So, like I said, um, this is all the stuff that I got when I was sourcing in Vegas. I missed my denim sale yesterday. I'm going to do it Friday or Saturday. I put that out. Stuff that I just got will be for sale. Some of the stuff will go on the website now. Some of it will not because I honestly don't have the time. Thriftathon is, what's today's date? The 7th, like two weeks away. So, honestly, it makes no sense for me to put the stuff on the site. And I think about it, I'm not going to. Because Thriftathon is like two weeks away. I'm going to take the time, put it on the site, and then sell it at Thriftathon, and I'm going to take it right back down. So, no. Um, if by any chance you see this video and you see something you want, just send me a message. We can definitely talk about it. I'll discuss price in there. Um, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? If you don't have your tickets for Thriftathon, please click the link um, on this live, and it'll take you to my website, which will in turn take you to the uh, website for the event. You can get your ticket. You can register for a vendor. We are still accepting vendors, whether it's clothes, collectibles, toys, um, children's clothes as well. Um, say you make something, you can do that. If the thing about thrift to find is 75% of the items have to be thrifted or resale, unless it's like a uh, custom um, beauty, things like that. Other than that, if it's anything else, it has to be thrifted or um, a resale type thing. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to. Th Thing. I think that's it. If you guys think of anything, send me a message. I took about enough of your time. You should be at work. Go back to work. 54 minutes in. Y'all know what I say. Peace.